basic data types in Python. To write programs, you need to use different types of data, each of which has its own characteristics. To demonstrate, I will launch PayCharm and create a new project in it. Creating a new Python file. I'll increase the font size so you can see better. To do this go to settings and change the font. Integer. Let's create a myog variable and assign it a value 3. Print this variable. To do this, write the print command and specify what you want to print. We can see what type of data our variable has. To do this, call type and pass our variable to it. We'll print it all out. As we can see, the type is integer. Floating point numbers. But if we assign to the variable myog minus 3.0. Let's see the result the variable type has changed to the float type. Consider the string type. Strings are a sequence of any characters enclosed in single or double quotes. This can be words, numbers, or signs. If you enclose a number in quotation marks, you get a string. And after that, you will have access to all the methods that are available to strings. If I access my variable and to do this, I need to click a dot after the name, then all the methods that are available to the string class will be available to me. In the following lessons we will definitely return to methods, but in the meantime, this information gives you a basic understanding of why data types are separated in programming. The string can consist of numbers, letters or words. All this you need to enclose in single or double quotes. Select the entire phrase and click the quotation marks or brackets, then your string will be placed inside the brackets. If you are going to use an apostrophe inside, then use double quotes, otherwise the program will take the apostrophe as a closing quote. By default, Python works with Unicode encoding. Lists are a sequence of objects enclosed in square brackets. Let's change our variable to a list consisting of an integer, a number with a dot and a string. As you can see, the list also has its own methods, which we will discuss later. Dictionaries are lists of pairs where the key is specified first and its value is specified second. We can think of a phone book as a dictionary. The dictionary can be designated in different ways, but today we will use curly brackets. First, we write the key and use a colon to write its value. We can enter a new key and value separated by commas. Let's print out our dictionary and see its type. We can also use the dictionary method to call the value. We'll look at dictionaries in more detail in the next lesson, but in the meantime, remember that the dictionary key must be unique. If you write two values with the same key to the dictionary, the dictionary assigns the last value to the key. Let's write a new number in the ob and see what happens.
Note that the dictionary contains only one ABBA value, but PyCharm tells us that this key is already in the dictionary and highlights the error. The next type is a tuple or immutable list. We add information to the tuple that we don't want to change. The tuple is used much less often. Understand when you should use a tuple, and when you can use a list with practice. In our example with the list, let's change the square brackets to round brackets and see what happens. Unlike a list, a tuple contains much fewer methods. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If the information was useful to you, put like, I will be very pleased. Thanks. The next type is a set or sequence of unique objects. Go back to the line and we see that the line prints everything as we passed it. But what happens if our string is a set? Enclose the string in parentheses and denote it as set. As you can see, the duplicate data was deleted. To make it clearer, I'll write the numbers. Again, only unique values are included in the set. You can perform mathematical operations on sets such as joining, intersecting, and so on. And the last type in our list is Boolean values. True and false. We use it to build branches and programs. Let's assign some equality to our variable. Note that I write double equals, which in Python means a statement, and just the equal sign is an assignment. And we see that 3 plus 5 is not equal to 10. The class of our variable has changed to a boolean value. We've covered the main data types in Python. In the following lessons, we will look at each type in more detail.